Hello and welcome back. So, we're finally back. I just went to the dungeon off screen. And now we're here. It's time to face Gold Digger. <laughs> Hopefully things go out, turn out well. Mia? What a twist. Mia? Call me that again and you'll regret it. I haven't been Mia for a long time. The name's Gilda. That's not what the text box says. You're... Oh, and Gilda again, not Gilda <laughs> Why? What's the matter, dear brother? Aren't you happy to see your little sister doing so well for herself? Uh... Anyway, what are you doing out of your cage? I wasn't planning on having my men bring you here till later. <laughs> oh no. I mean, he is right. Hey, at least with the spectral sentinel. There's well, this is the second. Yeah. Each sentinel kinda has a connection to each character. She has connection to Eric and I guess technically Jasper. Yeah, Jasper counts too. His connection to Henry, well, I guess. And Morgan opposite Luminary. Monster do to you. Monster? <laughs> He's not the one who left his sister to rot all alone in a cave. Thanks to that monster, I'm here today. Thanks to him, I have all the gold, all the power I ever wanted. And more. And for my next trick, I'm going to turn everyone in the world into golden soldiers, just like those stupid Vikings, and work them all to the bone. Ah, so you really did turn the chief and his men into your slaves. What's happened to you? 
you really think you deserve to know? After all you've done? I'll show you what you deserve. I thought about you every day for the last five years. The thought of saving you was the only thing that kept me going. It's all my fault. All of this. Everything that's happened to you. Which means I have to finish this. I have to take you down. Now you decide to play the hero? You're too late. You couldn't save me, and you can't save yourself, or your pathetic little friends. Why can't you all just leave me alone? I don't need a brother, or a hero, or anyone. You're worthless to me, but you'll be worth your weight in gold. Oh no. Well, wow, she looks scary. Poor Eric. Yeah, she's doing some menuing. She looks cool though, honestly. I like her design. I probably can't understand what he says there, but what he says is coward war. That's what he says. But yeah, I like that design, honestly. There are a few good designs of enemies in this game. I don't like this arena. It's pretty nice. I had Eric, because it kind of made sense for Eric to be here in this fight. Or not! Sheesh! Don't be so aggressive. <laughs> Ow! I know you're mad, but you're just having a temper tantrum now, Mia. Yeah. Now this boss can be difficult if you're not ready. I wouldn't say as hard as um the booga nonsense, because that was just painful. If you were unprepared. I would say this is easier than that. But. You probably should still. Not be under level. Or be ill prepared. It is nice to have Eric back honestly. <laughs> Didn't mention that last time. But yeah. Hmm. 
That's not good. We don't want to raise any children. Very bad. One thing though, like I do other games, you think games like this that have dialogue, your characters talk, you can take a back seat of it. You're important or sad scenes. But some games, like, <laughs> have no dialogue, I have to talk more. Ooh. I know I gotta talk more, I know, I know. But I did do a thing, if I don't want to see one, where I only talked occasionally, and most episodes were non-commentary. Because I was trying to be really careful about my voice. Because I cringed at my old content, and now it's disappeared to the other. <laughs> Hmm. But I know I shouldn't really do that in this. You know, like, only talk every now and then. Probably a bad idea. I mean, sometimes I won't talk during some cutscenes, but... I need to make something consistent. I think it might make more consistent than not talking during cutscenes. I think that'd be better. I mean, I know I don't even really like that. I mean, I like people talking even in cutscenes, honestly. As long as they aren't being annoying. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, but I will be quiet for this scene. Enjoy! lost control of our power. If we can't stop her, gold fever's gonna spread like wildfire. I can't let that happen. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, Mia. I have to end this. I can't do it. She's my kid sister. I have to try and save her. Hmm.
Why can't we go back to how things used to be? When we'd fight, and laugh, and fight some more? When all we had was each other? We didn't need money. We didn't need anything. I don't care how poor, and cold, and hungry we were. I want it back. I don't need this. I don't need gold! Nice work, Eric. You just lost us a fortune. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad they can be together. <laughs> Yay. It's nice being able to learn more about Eric and, yeah, yeah. One funny thing is, um, I've heard that originally, not really originally, but in the definitive edition, they were actually thinking of making me a party member in the Definitive Edition, but they ended up not doing it. Or more along, no, or moreover, there is a poem that was made and uh, whether Mia or another character should be a party member in uh, Definitive Edition. However, no, didn't get either character. I can already say Mia was one of them, but I can't tell you yet who the other character was. Sorry, that'd be a spoiler. Hendrick, no. No, Hendrick's in the original version. That was, that's from the original version. I'm talking about two different characters. One being Mia and another. Good to have you back, buddy. Let's hit the road, partner. Yeah. So we got a lot to tell you, Merrick. Luminaries for a lot. I like this song. I remember playing back in Cobblestone. Explain some things. Yeah. Da 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 da. Good song. And now we're coming to the end. So let's go ahead and sign off. Take care. Have a good day. <laughs> I am having a good time.
I'm having a lot of fun so far. And I do hope you are too. Please take care. Bye.